there's just two ways to go about it. Either you're going to give up, push your head in the sand and hide like an ostrich. Or you're going to look at yourself in the mirror and be like, all right, I'm going to put it on my back. I'm going to do this. This is what I want to do. Because that's the way I look at my life now. I don't mean to be all this serious all the time in all my videos, but that's literally my mentality now, you know? It's like I've completely changed myself. None of my exes, I, I don't want to see them. I don't want to, like, even get close to them, dude. <laughs> like, I've evolved way past that point now where it's like, I wouldn't even tolerate having that mediocre type of stuff in my life anymore, you know? Any form of, like, just anything going against my plan for the future, pretty much got to go at this point, right? I'm 26, dude, like, I'm grinding, and I will improve. Every month, I will keep improving. You guys have seen me start my book, like, almost three weeks ago. It's going good so far, and I'm going to keep pushing that envelope. I'm going to keep pushing that envelope. When I feel myself getting a little bit more puffy, when I can't see the crease in my face, like my jawline, all that, you know, then I'll start cutting. But only then. I'm not going to, like, give up now and be like, oh, it's so hard for me to eat so much food. Like, it is hard. But you know what I want? I want to look at myself in the mirror in a few years and be like, I grinded for that. And I get to keep this body for years and years and years to come. Even you Niall is saying, oh, you, you, you might get the perfect body and then just die. And at least I'm going to look good in my casket, man. Come on. You can't be a nihilist and look at life like that, dude. It's just like some of the guys saying, oh, I would never get married, you know. Oh, women, all they do is divorce you. I mean, there's a risk with everything you're going to do in life, dude. Become that man who could be that masculine leader. You feel me? And then you'll be naturally attracted to feminine women who don't even think about that type of stuff. You know? Keep leading, and she's going to be naturally receptive to your leading if she's actually feminine. Don't fight. Just embrace who you are. You are a man. Stop wasting your energy. Every time you feel low, every time you feel like you're not enough, every time you feel like, oh, my life is so hard. Dude, your life is not hard. Your life is not hard. If you could breathe and open your eyes today, and you can move around, your life is not hard. Take action and stop being a pussy. Literally. Nobody's gonna come rescue you. I'm not even trying to rescue you. I'm just passing along the information I'm learning as I'm learning it. I'm not gonna come to your house and like put you on like the treadmill or like bring you to the gym with me and like scan you in off my guest pass. Like I'm not gonna do that, dude. I'm just gonna tell you what I'm doing and what you need to be doing. And I'm gonna just leave it there because every man is to their own, right? Every man has their own path to success. That's how it is. That is just how it is. But anyway, guys, stay optimistic and put the work in. You're not going to win right now. You're probably not going to win for another, another three to five years. You're not going to win. But you know what, though? Fast forward 10 years from now, you stay consistent and do the work. There's no way nobody's stopping you. you just walk around outside and look. When I walk around outside, I feel like I have a top 1% physique. <laughs> it's actually factual, because I'm seeing hundreds of people. None of them look as good as I do. I'm talking about body fat ratio, the amount of muscle, the way their muscles packed onto them. Like, I could bench 210 on a free bench press. On the Smith machine, I could bench 245. I could squat 335 pounds. I only weigh 160 pounds right now. And I'm bulking. When I was like 19, I could also run a 49, a 49 second 400 meter. I could also jump 23 feet on a long jump. I could dunk. I have good social skills. I've been with dozens of girls like intimately in my past. There's nothing that you could like look at and be like, oh, you can't do it. You could actually do it, bro. Okay, maybe you can't dunk because you're not a Saul, but whatever. The point is, you could always improve. Because nothing I just said on that list was stuff I was able to just naturally do like that. Like, every time I have a sticking point in my life, I would just go and research on how to, like, level up past it. How to, like, make myself better. I took a long, hard look at myself in the last couple of years, dude. And I decided I'm going to start grinding. and I'm gonna, I want a family, and I'm going to make it happen. You know, 
gonna rescue some damsel in distress or something like that <laughs> or maybe I actually like bring a girl with me to the finish line you know somebody who's there with me grinding the whole time whatever though it's not about women so I don't I don't want to like touch on that too much point is I'll have the choice when I get to where I want to go to I'm trying to enjoy the journey and not look at the destination because the destination is gonna make me just feel like ah. Uh, Okay, we're here. Now what? You know? I am the type of guy to always try to improve, so... I'd rather look at the um, the journey than the destination anyway. Keeps me feeling like I'm actually doing something and not just mulling about, going, oh, I don't know what to do next. What I want to do tomorrow? I already went to the gym today. I already recorded two videos today. What I want to do tomorrow? I want to wake up. I want to probably watch the game, you know, whatever game's on TV for like 30 minutes or so. I don't like to watch when it's not Chelsea, so I'll just check the scores real quick. Get up, get myself some water, get myself some sunlight, and I'm going to hit the gym again. What's stopping me from hitting the gym again? It's a Sunday. I don't work weekends. Then I'm going to come back, read my book for a little bit, and I'm going to record another video that I have planned for tomorrow. And that is gonna give me such an intense spike of dopamine from just doing those activities. It's ridiculous. And it's only because I don't really do a lot of my bad habits anymore. <laughs> really, that's all it is. Even going to bed a little earlier has made me feel stronger in the gym, which is weird. Cause like, I thought I never really needed more than four or five hours a night, but now working construction and having another job after that, I mean, I've been sleeping like seven hours a night. Sometimes I even get eight hours and I feel like is this what it feels like when a phone battery is charged up all the way? Do you feel like you can do whatever and it's not going to like deplete your energy, you know? So I've been finding it a lot easier to go, go to class, go to work, go to the gym. Like, you know? <sighs> Just slow wins. Slow wins. Or should I say small wins? Just small wins. Small wins, guys. Focus on the small stuff that you can change right now. Do it and see how you feel. Like I said, man, just cut out those bad habits one after the other and replace them with positive habits, yo. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. I'm not here to force anything down your throat. I'm just here to let you know that your life may not be what you want it to be if you don't put the work in. Because you may have a girl right now. And she may love you right now. But in a few years' time, when you're a bum, when you've lost all your fitness that you have right now because you're not training, when you've actually like not gain anything substantial in your life you know and other men are also actually improving it's gonna be easy for her to look at her it's gonna be easy for her to look at you and be like hmm do i actually need this guy in my life and for most of you the answer is gonna be no like me when i interact with women or even deal with them like i always try to make sure i'm improving their lives because when i'm not around they're gonna notice me you know she might be like oh shit Nick wasn't around today to remind me to go to the gym and I didn't go to the gym, you know? Because I naturally just have more discipline, really. Or she might be like, shit, like, since I haven't been around Nick as much, my diet's been getting bad because, like, all Nick does is eat healthy and I'm not around him, so I, I just really eat what I see type of thing, you know? So, point is, they're going to miss me. They're, they're not going to miss you, more than likely, 